So today I'm talking about a P0088 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0088 code? Well, it's a low pressure fuel system pressure too low. And so what does this mean? Well, basically a vehicle can have one fuel pump or many newer vehicles nowadays, they have two fuel pumps. They're gonna have a low pressure fuel pump located inside the gas tank. And then they're gonna have a high pressure fuel pump up at the engine. But when you get this P0088 code, the computer seeing that the fuel pressure that's inside the lines is not correct, that it's too low for some reason. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you do go to work on your vehicle, if you do try to troubleshoot this code, it's a good idea to get a diagram for your fuel system, for your specific vehicle, along with wiring schematics and things like this, because there can be different things going on inside the system. Components can be located differently. They can be named differently, things along these lines. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. And another thing to note about this code is that this can't be triggered if the gas is really low and it's almost run out. So if the vehicle was recently run out of gas or it almost ran out of gas, then sometimes that can't trigger this P0088 code. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0088 code? Well, there's going to be some different ways you go about troubleshooting this. One of the first things I would do is I'd be sure that the fuel pressure sensor or the fuel pressure sensors, there could be more than one, that they're good, that there's no issues going on there with those. Because if those sensors go bad, if there's some kind of issue with one of them, then there might not be no problem going on inside the system, but the computer thinks there is since the sensor's gone bad. There's some different ways to go about testing those pressure sensors. First of all, if you're getting any other codes that are pointing to a pressure sensor, then it's a good idea to go do more tests on it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can also use it. You can go to like data and you can select all the fuel pressure sensors on that vehicle. And then you can see what the pressure is. For example, right here, this says 48.7. And with the vehicle running, that should move a little bit. So it should be like 48.1, 49, nothing huge, but it should move just a little bit. And if it doesn't, if it's just stuck at that number, then very likely there's some kind of issue going on with that. You can also pull the fuse going to the low pressure fuel pump, let the fuel line run out of gas and the pressure should drop. So there's some different ways to go about testing that fuel pressure sensor. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuel pressure sensor. The next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel pressure regulator. And depending on the manufacturer, these can be named differently. Sometimes they're called fuel volume control valves, demand control valves, or flow rate control solenoid valves. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, things along these lines. But basically, there's some kind of problem going on with that fuel pressure regulator it's not working correctly, then it's not going to control the fuel pressure, right? The location of that fuel pressure regulator can vary. Again, it's going to depend on the vehicle, but it's very common for them to be located on the high pressure fuel pump. And they're basically just a valve that opens and closes to control the fuel pressure that's going through them. And so there's some different ways to go about testing those. First of all, usually when those go bad, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P2294 code, fuel pressure regulator valve, open circuit, then it's a good idea to go check out that fuel pressure regulator. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on. And this is going to be a wiring issue going to any of the components on the fuel system. So for example, if there's a bad wire going to the fuel pressure sensor, then that's going to cause problems. So if you were getting like a fuel pressure sensor code and you know that fuel pressure sensor is good, be sure to go and check the wiring. Also, it's a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses or any bad relays or anything like this. Because for example, say you have a blowing fuse going to the low pressure fuel pump then that's going to cause problems. So it's a good idea to check all the fuel related fuses and be sure that they're good because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. The next thing that could cause this is a clogged up fuel filter. This is mainly if you have an inline fuel filter. Some vehicles don't have an inline fuel filter. It'll be inside the gas tank with the fuel pump. But if you do have an inline fuel filter like this, then it can be a good idea to just to go replace it because these are part of regular maintenance anyways. And if they get clogged up or if there's any kind of issue going on with it, then that can block the flow of fuel pressure up to the engine. So if your vehicle does have an inline fuel filter and it's clogged up, then that's going to cause problems. And the next thing that can cause this is a bad fuel pump. And this could be a bad high pressure fuel pump or a bad low pressure fuel pump. These high pressure fuel pumps, they're going to be mounted directly to the engine. They basically ride on a cam lobe that pumps up the high pressure. And then there's also a low pressure fuel pump inside the gas tank that's just pumping gas up to the engine. And so again, there's some different ways to go about testing this. You can use an OBD2 scan tool that has live data inside of it to check to see what the fuel system pressure is on the low pressure and the high pressure side, and then check to see if that's correct. So for example, if you know those fuel pressure sensors are good, and this low fuel pressure sensor is reporting that the fuel pressure is way too low, 
then that can't point to an issue with a low pressure fuel pump. And in that case, it's going to be a good idea to go and check that out. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad fuel pump. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this is going to be like a bad powertrain control module or a bad fuel pump control module or something like that. Basically, the computer that's controlling the system, there might be some kind of issue going on with it. And so again, there's another way to go about troubleshooting this. You can go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle check all the wiring going up to the fuel pump control module and be sure that's correct and then check all the wiring going to the fuel pump and if that checks out good there might be some kind of problem going on with that fuel pump control module but the next thing that could cause this is a bad computer and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0088 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day